Pop-ups on your phone, random ads out of nowhere, and slow performance, chances are you've got adware. But don't worry, we've got the fix. If your Android is acting up with annoying ads and weird apps you didn't install showing up, this video is for you. We're going to be breaking down what adware is, how it sneaks in, and most importantly, how to get rid of it fast. Now, adware stands for advertising supported software. And yep, it does exactly what it sounds like. It floods your phone with ads, slows it down, and often collects data without your permission. Now here's how to know if adware is taking over your device. Is your phone sluggish, more sluggish than normal out of nowhere? Do you have random apps appearing on your phone you don't remember installing? Is your battery draining faster than normal? And of course, the biggest one, those never ending pop-up ads. Now, how did it get there? Adware slips in through free applications, shady downloads, or pirated content. Even clicking the wrong link can trigger it. So yeah, always think twice before tapping download. How do we remove adware if it makes its way onto our devices? Here on the side, I have a step-by-step -step, uh, kind of visual here. What I'm doing is going to the settings on my phone. I'm gonna go to the app section and then I'm gonna review everything I have. Now, if I see anything suspicious, I'm gonna remove it, okay? And if I'm not sure if it's suspicious or if I don't want it or if it's harmful, could always do a simple Google search it'll tell me everything I need to know about the app and if it should be on my phone, okay? The next thing I would recommend is go into your browsers and go ahead and clear the cache, okay? Now on my phone, I use a couple different browsers. I have Safari, I have Brave, I have Firefox. So each one, I'm gonna go, want to go into the settings, go to the uh, data, the, the privacy section or the data section, where, whatever it is per each browser. Uh, you can look that up online for your specific browser. Here I'm doing Firefox and I'm gonna go ahead and clear the cache uh, for all the data on my, my browser. The next thing that I would recommend if, if that doesn't work is you're kinda gonna have to take it to an extreme. You're gonna have to factory reset your device, okay? Now that's a last resort. Make sure you back up your data before you do it, but that will in fact remove the adware, okay? Because it'll be like you just bought the phone. It'll wipe everything out. You can put your account back on. However, if it was an application that was causing the issue, Sometimes if you add your account back to the phone, it'll reinstall your app. So be careful about that as well. In that case, you might just need to go in and remove the application itself. All right, well, now that you know how to remove it, how do you stay safe in the future? How do you prevent even getting it on the phone in, you know, period? You don't want to get it at all, right? So download only from safe places. That means the Play Store on Android phone and the App Store on iPhone, okay? Outside of those two areas, you're really rolling the dice. You could be gambling with something uh, that winds up, you know, it could be a malware, it could be a Trojan. I wouldn't take the risk. The next thing you want to do is check your app permissions from time to time. Jump into the settings on your phone. A lot of people forget when you download applications, they ask for permissions and they don't always need to have those. They don't need to always be on uh, or on ever, period. So go in there, review what permissions your app have, your apps have, and then go ahead and turn off what you don't need. And then avoid shady links, okay? I talk about resist the click a lot. Try not to click on suspicious or strange uh, links that you see online or that are sent to you in messages. That will help avoid adware as well, because as I mentioned earlier, sometimes all it takes is that click and then boom, you've got adware, okay? And then keep your phone up to date. If you have an Android phone, Android operating system needs to be updated in the settings on a regular basis. If you have an uh, iOS phone, Apple phone, go ahead and go in and update the iOS version whenever they have an update. You could wait a couple of days, but you wanna try to be on top of that. Um, try not to go too far months out, obviously, because then you will be open to those security vulnerabilities that were probably fixed in the updates, which could include bad adware or other malware, okay? You still need help after that? Well, that's what we're here for. We're My Computer Works. We help you fix your tech headaches fast. So reach out to us if you need help and make sure you hit that like and subscribe down below and continue to watch our videos for more tech tips and fixes. Thanks for watching and I hope you all stay adware free.